Hey everyone, so um, today we're going to be looking at the compact method for multiplication. Um, last time we looked at the expanded method. Now, um, the compact method is a lot quicker, but it's a lot harder to see your workings out, so there's more chance for mistakes. So what I would say, if you're not confident with the expanded method, stick with the expanded method. Don't move on to compact until you're ready. So I'm going to be doing them both side by side, um, so then you can choose which method you want to use. And it may be for some sums that you decide to use expanded and some use compact, and that's absolutely fine. So let's start with uh, sum 324 times 3. So 4 threes are 12. 20 times 3 is 60. 300 times 3 is 900. And when we add them together, we get 972. So that's what we covered last time. So let's have a look now what the compact method looks like. It's exactly the same sums, it's just in a smaller space. So 4 3s are 12. So I'm going to put the 1 underneath my equals line here in the tens column. 20 times 3 is 60, add this extra 10, 70, 300 times 3 is 900, so I get the same answer. So as you can see, it's exactly the same working as there's a lot more in your head. Um, and if I did make a mistake, it's a lot more difficult to see the mistakes that you've made. So let's have a look at another one, let's have a look at a team sum. So if we do 14 times 19, and we'll do it with the expanded first of all. So 4 times 9 is 36, 10 times 9 is 90, and then let's multiply them all by this 10, 4 times 10 is 40, 10 times 10 is 100. And when I add them all together, I'm going to get 266. So let's have a look at it with the compact. So it's exactly the same, apart from now again, like the top one, it's in your head. Now because we've got two by two digits, I'm actually going to have two rows. I'm going to do one sum multiplying 14 by 9, and another row multiplying the 14 by 1. So 14 times 9, well I know 4 times 9 is 36, and I know 10 times 9 is 90, so if I add them together, I get 126. Now you can actually see where that's come from because it's these two top numbers here. And now I'm going to multiply 14 by this 10, so I get 140. And when I add them together, I'm going to get 266. So exactly the same working out, it's just a little bit quicker here, um, but there is more margin for error. So choose which method you want to use. So let's do um, a slightly more complicated one. So we'll do 32 times 63. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to do the expanded method first of all, times in this each bit of the 32 by the 3 first. So I'm going to do 2 times 3 is 6. 30 times 3 is 90. Then I'm going to times the 32 by the 60. So 2 times 60 is 120. 30 times 60, so I know 3 times 6 is 18, so 30 times 6 is 180, so 30 times 60 is 1,800. And when I add them together, my units are 6, my 10s are 110, I've got 9, I've got 10 10s here, so my answer is 2016. So let's do it using the compact method. And you'll see the relationship between the two, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to times the 32 times the 3 first. So I know 2, 3 to 6, keep that in my head. 30 times 3 is 90, so add them together and I get 96. And you can see it's just compacted these two here. Now I'm going to multiply them both by 60. So 2 times 60 is 120. And then I've got uh, 30 times 60 is 1,800. So if I add them together, I get 1920 and when I add those columns up I 
I get 2016. So it's actually almost the same method. You're doing all the same sums. This one just takes a couple of steps down and makes you a bit quicker. It will probably take you longer to start with um, because you're trying to do all that in your head and getting used to it. But eventually, it's a really quick way of multiplication. So uh, good luck with it. Um, don't stress about it. If you're finding this compact too difficult, just go back to the expense extended. There's no shame in that. Um, do whatever method suits you best and whichever means you can get to the answer. Good luck guys.